So here we are, replace keys. Implement a type replace keys that replaces keys in union types. If some type has not this key, just skip replacing, a type that takes three arguments. So let's look at those three arguments. All right, so actually let's go to the test because I formatted these and they're a little easier and this is the same thing from the test. So here's node A, node B, and node C. Uh, they have types corresponding to their names like A, B, C. Node A has a name, uh, node B has an ID, node C has a name, those are string, number, string. And then they all have number flags. We're going to replace keys passing in a union of all of those nodes and we're, we're talking about name or flag, and we're going to replace name with number and flag with string. So the output that we expect is like this, like B1. It's a union where A, B, C are the types, just like before. Uh, name is, anytime it saw a name, it replaced it with a number, and anytime it saw a flag, it replaced it with a string. <laughs> okay. some, of these, some of these examples are kind of... Uh, Wow. Uh, all right. I guess this is a fun one. Um, so we're going to replace some keys. The, the solution is not actually that long, I'll have you know, but where would you start on something like this? Yeah. Um, well, I'll be fully honest with you that this one is uh, definitely interesting. I <laughs> don't think I can. I, I, I right. don't think I've ever done anything similar to this. How, how about this? I'll, I'll try to like uh, walk through the steps of how to get, get there and co comment along the way. So the first thing we know is that we're going to do some kind of like, uh, like P and key of T type of thing. And then we have some kind of like T, P. It's going to be something like that. We've seen this uh, like a lot throughout our journeys here on these challenges. So we're going to like kind of set ourselves up with a kind of base situation like that. All right. So that's not going to work because we're just remapping. We're just sending in T basically at that point. Mm. But what we want to do is we want to say, does P extend U? Now U is the, uh, U is this, is this is a union type or it's a, just in the, in the case of A2, it's just a regular string. So we're going to say like P, um, and let's do this on a new line, P extends U right um okay so if p extends u then we're going to we're going to do something in the true case uh and we'll work towards that but if it doesn't then then we're done i mean we we can just we can just extend or we can just return that value because we're not actually dealing with that value so um like in this case name was the thing that we're talking about well flag isn't touched then we don't care about type. We don't care about flag. We don't care about these other things. So we can just return them outright. Okay, but if P does extend U, meaning P is one of the things that we're targeting, then we have to check if it's a it's a key of V. V is the again is the is the updater object kind of right. So we'll say uh, P extends key of V. So again, we're gonna have a true here. If I could spell true, um, false, great. So if P doesn't extend K of V, that's usually the easy place to start is the false case. If it doesn't, we don't care. We can just give up. So we'll just say never because we don't want to do anything with those. It's just passing in some nonsense thing that isn't in our input. So it, it, whatever, it doesn't matter. We've already kind of escaped early in that case by returning the value on line 40 here. But if it does extend, if if P is a key, a key of V, then we want to grab that value. Like in this case, key of, like V is this whole thing here on line 24. K, k, keys of V, well, in this case, there's only one key of V, which is AA. And the values at those positions, well, in this case is number. And we're already kind of down deep into that layer. So we can just say V P. Okay. So if it makes you feel any better, I definitely also would not have been able to, before I started researching these and trying to understand how this all fits together and how you would do something like this, I don't think I would have been able to do that or even even, even explain it upon seeing the answer. But what do you think about, I mean, now does it make sense what I showed? Yeah, I think in this case, one of the more interesting bits is the way that unions play along with map types. I think that's really the key here because 
um, had I realized that was the first step, it probably would have guided me to the rest of it, of course. But mm-hmm. that I honestly, I just didn't know that that worked that way. Yeah, there is a weird place in my heart for unions because they serve all of these purposes. And sometimes I wonder, is it too much? Is it is this too intense? But you can do some pretty elegant things with them. And this is just another example. But yeah, I don't know. Um, talking through it, hopefully the way I described it makes sense. Talking through it some, can sometimes help if you kind of think of what all of this stuff is. One thing that this one would benefit from in the, in the code that we show in these challenges, I've been using T and V and U and short one and P, these short one letter names. This is a situation where it would really be nice to, ch- to change these. Like if you want updater, um, search, um, keys, uh, like input, and then we could call this like, uh, you know, input keys. It reads a little better. I, maybe these are not great names. I didn't think of these names in advance, but Sometimes it can be nice to say if like, okay, if this is an input key that matches a key of the updater, then we want to grab the updater at that input key. We want to get the value, so we're indexing. So sometimes it can be helpful if you just give them longer names. I hope I'm not setting a bad example by not doing that anywhere in these challenges, but it's because we have a, I'm trying to make it something that you can see on your phone pretty easily and we're zoomed in really far. So that's the reason why I've been using these one letter names, but in general, that's something you could do to improve this. <laughs>